how's it going guys? So, former European heavyweight champion Robert Hellenius is going to be fighting Gonzalo Omar Basil. And, uh, you know, this is a fight that could potentially be very explosive. Uh, both of these guys are a similar size. They both stand at around 6'6". Six six. So, uh, you know, obviously you've got two big, strong, powerful heavyweights in there. Both of these guys hit very hard. Um, for those of you who don't know who Gonzalo Omar Basile is, he's basically a journeyman heavyweight from Argentina. However, if you've seen the guy fight, and there are a few fights of him on YouTube, you'll know that he is pretty dangerous, okay? He's very heavy-handed, uh, you know, he hits very hard, he's very strong, and, uh, you know, when he fights lower-level opposition, he tends to win, and he tends to win by knockout. However, it has to be said that every time he has stepped up, he has lost, and he's lost badly, and I'll, I'll give you an example of the kind of fighters he's lost to. Uh, people like Alexander Dimitrenko, uh, you know, uh, Artur Spilker, people like that, you know, guys that are, you know, decent heavyweight gatekeepers, you know, decent contenders, whenever he fights these guys, he gets completely taken apart, um, you know, he's fought the majority of his career in Argentina against journeymen, but, you know, it, it tends to be, if you look at his record, you'll see a pattern, every time he's left Argentina to fight somebody credible, he, that that's when he's gotten stopped, and he's even gotten stopped in his homeland by journeyman, so yeah, you know, I mean, this fight on paper, it looks like a mismatch, but, you know, Robert Hellenius, being a guy who's unpredictable, you know, you never know if he's going to be in shape or not, you know, you never know if his injuries are going to be playing up, so, uh, I suppose while this fight lasts, it will be pretty interesting, obviously, with this guy being a very big guy and being very powerful, uh, anything can happen, I mean, Robert Hellenius was knocked out a couple of fights ago by, uh, uh, by Johan Duopar, but to be honest, um, I think that as long as Hellenius takes this fight seriously, as long as he trains properly, and as long as he comes in without any serious injuries, uh, he should win this fight, and he should probably win the fight by knockout. Uh, the fight's taking place in Finland, I believe it's the 17th of December it's taking place, so yeah, I'll definitely be tuning in to see this fight. Um, yeah, I, I think it's a really good fight. It'll be very entertaining. Like I said, this guy's big. You know, he always comes to fight. Okay, he's, he's very, very strong. Uh, you know, he's a, he's a real mean-looking individual. You know, a big, big guy covered in tattoos. You know, looks you know, looks like a bit of a weirdo. And, and <laughs> yeah, he, he's going to be coming to fight, this dude. And, and I think it's going to be entertaining. You know, Robert Hellenius, it's always entertaining with he fights because you never know how it's going to go because with all the injuries that he's suffered over the years... And, uh, you know, the fights where he's turned up out of shape and, you know, you, you just, you never know what's going to happen. I mean, even in his last fight against uh, Konstantin Erich, I wasn't sure what would happen in that fight because Konstantin Erich, despite being a journeyman, he does have a lot of power. And uh, with Hellenius coming off a knockout defeat, you never know. You never know how he's going to be mentally going into the fight. And also, uh, as I mentioned before, Robert Hellenius, his career has been basically pr played with injuries, you know, he, he's had all sorts of problems with his right shoulder, uh, he's broken both of his hands, okay, he's torn muscles, uh, I mean, the guy that, there's pictures out there showing some of the injuries that this guy has suffered in his career, and uh, it's a shame because early on in his career, he showed the potential to become a heavyweight champion, I mean, he's showing, he was showing tremendous punching power, uh, he was very tough, you know, he was he was destroying former world champions such as Samuel Peter and uh, Sergei Lakovic and uh, uh, Lamont Brewster. You know, he was walking through those guys and I know they were past their prime, but for a guy that was in his first, you know, 15 professional fights to be destroying uh, former world champions like that, you know, it was very impressive, but it is unfortunately, you know, when he came up against Derek Chisora, his, his injuries just... Uh, they were exacerbated in that fight, and he ended up uh, he ended up destroying his career. Basically, I mean, it, it's really strange to think about if this guy never suffered those injuries, where he would be right now in his career. I mean, chances are he could be a, a very good contender right now. But anyway, we'll see we'll see how this fight goes. Um, if he wins this fight and if he looks good, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of talks for a uh, for uh, for this guy to be a potential opponent for Anthony Joshua. I know that he was knocked out by Johan Dupa, but let's be honest, I mean, Eric Molina is getting a shot at Anthony Joshua, who, a guy who has, and that's a guy who has multiple stoppage defeats, he was stopped by both Chris Ariola and Deontay Wilder, so, 
you know, if Eric Molina can get a title shot, I see no reason why Robert Hellenius can't get a title shot. I mean, the guy's a, a former European champion and a former number rank, number one ranked contender by the WBO. So clearly, you know, a, a title shot is within his grasp. He just has to get through this fight. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'm picking Robert Hellenius to win by a late stoppage. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching.